my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, we are redoing my office. Okay, so a little background. Um, I don't want to say redoing because I'm technically not redoing it because it was never done in the first place. But I have actually recently moved into the small bedroom, turned the small bedroom of my house into a home office creative space. Um, and so that's what we're redoing today. I actually have furniture on its way. Um, as a result of COVID, I kind of had to postpone a lot of things and hold off on ordering a few things. So my furniture is on its way. It's actually a bookcase. And there's a huge echo in this room because there's like no furniture or nothing. Um, and yeah, so this office creative space, I'm calling it a creative space because this is also where, um, in addition to like office functions, so to say, where I have all my inventory for it in a beauty store and different arts and crafts tools, my sewing machine in the closet and everything like that. Um, I also be using the space to film videos to do projects. Um, so I'm just creating a nice space for me to be able to function well and do all of that. So right now, when I like first moved into this room, I just use some of the furniture and little pieces that I had, um, like some drawers left over from college. College dorm that I've used and somewhat labeled with a bunch of stuff. So over here, this is gonna stay where it is. This is a little, you know, self promo. Our Nudifly You palette from NA Beauty. Um, that is this. This is just mine that I have that I'm playing around my own personal one. So I got these flowers. I planted them in these little in these little um, jars and I actually recently got a flower pot for the larger ones and I actually want to put these to put these plant this plant together with the other one that I have and put it in a larger pot. I'm still looking for a small flower pot for this one but I'm gonna show you all the finished look when it's all done. So that's that and then in here like I said this is literally all of the inventory for any beauty. All of this the lashes I had them labeled I mean like that, eyeshadow pigments. These are the palettes, all nicely stored. And down here, this is just extra, um, just extra um, bubble wrap bags, the silicone bags, and then just like sample products. Mystery, can't really show y'all too much of that. Um, and then I just have more sample products down here. But all of this will be organized into the bookshelf that I have. Um, you can like loosely see what some of the stuff is. As I go back through and reorganize everything, I'm gonna show you all the process. Here I have this desk and this chair. This chair is actually my vanity chair, but I have it in here because I haven't had a chance to get a new desk chair. I won't be getting one for a while. Um, I don't know when Home Goods will open up in my area, so just have to wait. This desk is actually it has seen better days. Plus this desk tabletop is like, for, it's from Ikea. Like all my furniture in here is from Ikea. I didn't want anything too fancy or decorative. I wanted to keep this room very minimal, very, you know, black and white color scheme. That's the color scheme for it. For this room and just very, keep it just very flat. And just, cause I feel as though that would better allow my creative juices to flow. If I want to put something on the wall, put up a backdrop or whatever, it will be very easy and not clash or get in the way with everything else that's going on. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see in my story sometimes how I literally transform this room into like a whole photo studio or recording area or whatever. So I'm basically gonna swap out the desk. It's a little bit longer. Um, I'm keeping this mirror right where it is. I feel like it opens up the room and plus I just like to, I like it. Um, and but I do want to paint the mirror black. It was always my intention when I got this. I actually got this for my college apartment. I don't know when. I lived in the college apartment two years ago now. Um, a year ago? I don't know. So I got that. Meant to paint it black. Never did. So that'll be another project for me to do um, during this quarantine time. And then this wall right here, I want to keep empty and blank because I'm. it allows me to put up backdrops and use this as a great space to record and like I said put up backdrops. I'm contemplating whether to get the full backdrop frame holder thing um or the backdrop stand or to just put a curtain rod 
on the top of this wall and then so I could use it to hook my kind of do a DIY makeshift um uh backdrop stand so I'll have to see about all of that and then over here in this closet this closet is like organized but not really at all I just have like a bunch of random stuff in here so all of this right here is filming equipment backdrop paper I have fun fact um little youtube photography hack whatever as opposed to buying backdrop paper use tissue paper it works just as great i love it i go to the dollar store i get it it's cheap easy gets the job done if you scroll on my instagram or anywhere else that you see pictures of me posted any backdrop that is used it that you see that's a colorful backdrop solid color flat colorful backdrop unless i've tagged a photographer in it and I went to their studio to take the photos. That's where, that's what that's used. All of this right here is the shipping boxes that I have for NA Beauty. I have a couple of textbooks down here. Back here is um, some poster paper, cutting board and everything for sewing. So all of that is that. I always like to have a case of water. I actually need to replenish my little water and this bag is just actually my recycling. Um, Bolero's puppy pads, that's just irrelevant. Um, bubble wrap, extra paper, camera stuff. Right here is where I keep my water. I typically have it all nice and pretty and lined up, but I've been drinking it and it's just gotten messed up along the way. So a lot of this stuff in the closet is actually coming out. Everything on this top shelf, except for my sewing machine, is coming out. I have more boxes up here, the USPS um, boxes, priority mailers. Um, that comes in handy. I actually send a lot of packages outside of the company. Um, to various people so that's helpful this bag has been condensed down substantially but this has all of my fabric in it I got bins for the bookcase and one of the bins will have all of my fabric and then another one will have um, this box right here is a bunch of arts and crafts supplies paint a bunch of stuff and it's just random so that will be going in the bookcase as well um, I'm really excited to get this done I also have been contemplating painting this wall where the window is black, but I don't know. I really, really want to do it. I really want to do it, but this is also a small room and I feel like it'll make the space feel a little bit more enclosed, but I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to have to play that one by ear, but let's get this room makeover redone. Done, not redone, but done. Um... And maybe later on down the line, I'll give you guys an update as I add more things to it and reorganize it. I'm going to take y'all along on this, I don't know, what to call this journey, my office redo, revamp. And on the front of it, this is a chalkboard. Um, when I was younger, this was my bedroom. Well, I would always switch between this room and the other bedroom in our house. And so I was up, went through the stage where I was obsessed with chalkboards. So I painted the chalkboard on the door. And I think I might start utilizing it again. So that's that. Let's redo this office.
desk is officially all put together. Just don't mind the mess, you know? Everything happens, whatever. This was the old desk. And my initial vision for the room was to have an L-shaped desk. And now that I'm seeing all the furniture and in here, I did not want this to look this way. It's going to be completely different. I really hate like this junky sort of look. I wanted to be able to put like little knickknacks inside of it and on top. So um, I am still trying to organize all of this. I am have been looking at this drawer unit. Um, it's like a shorter version of the Alex drawer, essentially of this. I think it's like half the size um, to go underneath the desk. And I just on Ikea's website and I'm gonna go ahead and place, oh my goodness. Ah, I just got a picture, sorry. I launched my cosmetic company today and I just received another order. That's really awesome. Um, it's really cool. I, so, I'm thinking about getting the other desk and putting it over here so to kind of hide the printer. Um, and that's what I want to do. So, I got to go ahead and do that. Get that all situated and out of the way. And then the office will be almost complete. everything turned out just had the bookcase with some flower pots some pictures this was this book is very sentimental to me it was an amazing graduation gift from my cousin with a nice note read in it but this book has sentimental value and long story and just the messages that are shared in that um like i said i still have a couple more things to do i, I want to turn this entire wall into a gallery wall so literally from there all the way over will be covered with pictures I just need to continue to look for the pictures I want to put in the frames and continue looking for the frames. Um, again, waiting for stores to open for me to really truly pursue that. I love the way everything turned out. Oh my gosh, I love it. I want to replace Bolero's bag, get her a new one that matches the decor in here. Um, and then my mirror, I, ooh, awkward. And my mirror, I love the way, love, love, love the way my mirror turned out. You guys can check out more details about that in um, my All Black Everything video. That will be posted very, very soon. And you'll see how I revamped this whole mirror as well as these flower pots that I have. Um, but everything turned out really, really nice. I really, really love it. Um, I'm like really excited. I'm like, like a little kid right now. This wall is still blank. Um, like I said previously, again, just reiterating it, I'm using this wall as a creative space so that um, I can put up any backdrop paper that I want. I'm still debating whether I want to get the backdrop stand or if I want to just go ahead and put like cur a curtain rod on the wall. I'm leaning more towards the backdrop stand just because I can just do more with it, I feel. <sighs> but I love this. I just really like the way it turned out. I would love to get a rug for this room. I'm thinking a cowhide rug. I want a black and white cowhide rug in here. But everything turned out really nice. I still need to organize these drawers a little bit better. But like I said, I was actually able to completely redo my closet. Not completely, but shipping boxes are still in its spot. I was able to put my makeup case in here. These are this black thing right here. That's the box for these lights or the bag, really. 
another tripod that I have. Rolls of paper. I was able to better organize this before it was like a hot overflowing mess. Um, I felt like, so I had the water, I gotta stay hydrated. Valero's puppy pads, bubble wrap for the obvious. Sewing machine, I'm gonna keep my sewing machine in the closet. I contemplated putting it on the shelf, but I wanna keep the shelves the way they are. And um, more U, what is this, UPS? USPS, United States Postal Service, USPS um, boxes here. Got the camera stuff up there. It's just really simple, really organized. I love the way it turned out. Again, all the inventory is in there. And then in these drawers, um, makeup, just extra makeup, test products, things of that nature, sewing supplies. This is just fabric, sewing supplies in both of these drawers. So this drawer right here, or this bin really, is more like a knickknack, random stuff. I just have a couple cords for the lights, just random stuff in there. Um, and then, yeah, it's nothing too over the top fancy. And then of course, like in the drawers again, it's just um, random little knickknacks and stuff, just random stuff. I need to get drawer organizer little tubs to better organize everything. This drawer is crucial for the business. This is has all of the wrapping paper, the stickers, thank you cards and everything that I need to package up orders right there, really simple. And here is just, just paperwork and stuff. And down here is just the overflow. Um, as you can see, I have the roll of tape, um, printer, shipping labels for the Dymo shipping printer. Just extra stuff, random stuff. And then down here in this basket, I, as you can see the paper, I have a couple things, just documents really down there, my other computer in there. And yeah, um, this is the way my office turned out. I really like it. I initially was thinking about painting this wall right here black, but after bringing in my mirror, I realized this room kind of felt a little close, a slightly tighter after bringing in this large black mirror and I decided to opt out of painting this wall black for now. Um, I'm just gonna live with it the way it is because I really like it, don't wanna change too, too much. But I really love my room. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and watching me create this space. Um, for me personally, I feel as though it's important for everyone to have at least one designated space within their house or wherever they frequent a lot that they can call theirs. And then they are able to decorate and really just create their own little sanctuary. And for me, this is my office. This is my space where I can turn it into whatever I want. Really, I can return, turn it into an arts and crafts studio. I can move my tables around if I want to create a, a sewing station or uh, like I said, an arts and crafts station. Um, I can turn it around and use this as a table to, to record any type of makeup video if I want. I can bring, I have a couple bar stool chairs downstairs I could bring up here if I want to do an interview with someone, put down a backdrop and set up my camera right there and just perfect spacing. Um, so this speaks to all of my creativeness. I can sit here and package orders, respond to people. Um, yeah, this is my little space. I need to get away and I don't want to be in my room. Um, this is it. I actually have a TV in my room now, my bedroom, that I've been contemplating putting in here. I was thinking about putting it up there or even in this corner right here. Um, because I don't watch TV and I would use the TV as a monitor, but I also would like, um, my initial plan was to get a desktop computer. I won't be getting that anytime soon. I'll probably get it. Not probably, but I'm waiting for Apple to have their back to school sale so I can get, they always have some type of promotion. Take advantage of that. But I'm contemplating now between a larger size laptop or a desktop. I really don't know. I want, my initial thought was to get the desktop, but now I'm kind of leaning more towards the laptop just because I'm mobile and I like to be able to move around. But I'm going to just make up my mind when I get there. Um, so, yeah. Like I was saying, I think it's important for everyone just to have a space they can call theirs and just use it as an outlet of some form. For me, this is what this office represents for me. This creative space. It represents 
a place where I can come in here and like detach from reality in a, in a, in a way and just create. It is my designated space to create and I really like it. I pull inspiration from a lot of different places. And it was important for me to have this space being very plain, very minimalistic, so that when my creative juices flow, I can put anything on the wall I might need to, to help elevate that. I, I'll have the inspiration of my family and friends. That's where I draw a lot of my knowledge and my, my inspiration from is family and friends and the, the memories that we've shared and created together. So I love it. This is like really exciting. This was one of my graduation gifts to myself was just to do this up the way I want. Um, I, like I said, I still has a few more things to add to it. Um, there's things that I I want to get a rug. I want to get a new chair. I want to get like a little bit of some knickknacks to put on my desk as well as um, on top of the bookshelf. But until I do that, I really like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this office revamp creative space whatever you want to call it um still not 100 percent sure what i'm going to title this video but i really hope you guys enjoy and also like i said if you want to um, get more details about how i redid this mirror as well as those flower pots over there check out my video coming very soon um and like always forever and always do you and be beautiful i'll catch you guys next time Toodles.